Demolished Wonders. This is an interesting little story or showcase by Jackie Aggie. And I like when the people who have no idea about this research we do put together a showcase like this, showing that they have intuition. Something is speaking to them, but they just haven't found my channel yet. They don't have permission to think outside the box. Of course they do, but sometimes a fool like myself must come first. Many of you do, but I don't want to call anybody else a fool. This is my favorite card in the tarot deck, often depicted with a companion dog. So here, this is not far from my house, I believe. This is Goblin Valley, and within three or four years, somebody went out here and knocked some of these over. They filmed it and put it on YouTube, and I believe they got fined. And I thought it was really interesting that the author of this article included these along with old world buildings. And she's right, again, intuitively, they do belong in this showcase together. And even if somebody knocks these down, the idea is that they've already been destroyed. In our community, we recognize these as the remains of buildings melted in a super cataclysm. Similar to the stone circles that people talk about all over the world, people are so baffled by the stone circles, they don't realize what they used to be. Here we can even see faint block lines, windows, just cooked down, softened, and almost unrecognizable. Here we have the Beach Hotel in Galveston, Texas, reminiscent of my last video in Atlantic City, all the hotels on the beach. Same thing going on here. This beach hotel, such a creative name, was designed by architect Nicholas Clayton. Property opened in 1883. They don't give us the date, but it was eventually destroyed in a devastating fire. There we go, 1883, Texas. Good old Texas, Texas Cowboys in 1883, producing this wonder, this short-lived wonder. So massive, they just couldn't keep it from burning. There we go, at least these people enjoyed it on this day. Galveston, Texas. This is one of my favorites, the Chicago Federal Building. A government building, a frivolous, overly built, now demolished building. The building was much grander. The giant dome, sculptures, arches, and columns. Despite its beauty, building was deemed impractical. Impractical. I mean, you have enough space to do whatever you need to do. That's all we're looking for with a building. Space to perform the functions, in this case, governmental functions. But no, it was 